Hello there, Whipper here, and once again, welcome back to another mod showcase. And today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Modular Flower Pots mod. And at this point, you're all probably saying, oh no, that sounds like such a boring mod. Flower Pots, oh dear. Uh, but no, it's a pretty cool mod, so I'd recommend you stick around. It's a really awesome mod, and it's very good for decorative reasons. If you want to, like, place down some indoor flower pots of a variety of colours, then this mod is perfect for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off by showing you the different colours of large flower pot and how you can craft a large flower pot to begin with and by the way guys if you can shoot for 600 likes for flower pots that would be awesome i never thought i'd say that before so we're just going to start off with a basic large flower pot which is crafted using seven hardened clay and that gives you three large flower pots and then you can just place this down uh, like so and it looks like a flower pot just a bigger version of the small one and i can stand inside of it yay i am now a flower Yay, flower whipper. No, that, I don't really look like a flower, do I? <laughs> but if you want to make different coloured versions of flower pots, you just create them out of a different kind of stained clay. So you can see here we've got green stained clay, and we get a green large flower pot, and yellow, of course, with a yellow stained clay. So, yeah, it's pretty simple to actually craft these. There is another method to doing this, though. You can whack this uh, basic large flower pot in your crafting grid along with some kind of dye, and it will dye the flower pot directly. And that's probably better use of your resources instead of dying like seven clay blocks. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can craft these things. And now I'm going to demonstrate how you can use them. When you place them down, they don't have dirt placed in them by default. And to use them, you have to get yourself a dirt block or some other blocks. I think it works with sand and gravel and soul sand. And I'll show you what it works with later on. Uh, but all you have to do is hold the block in your hand and right click in the center of this flower pot. And it will place some dirt inside of it. And then you simply get the flower of choice and then place it down on top. And there you go. Relatively simple. It's just like a normal flower pot, but it just requires you to put some dirt in manually. So yeah, that's how you can use these things. But now we're going to move on to the modular kind of function of these flower pots, since this mod is called Modular Flower Pots, and this is where that name comes in. So you can see I could place down one, it's just a one by one flower pot, uh, but if I place down one next to it of the same variety, if you place one down of a different variety, for example if I destroyed this and placed down a yellow one, you can see they don't join, but if I place down the same variety of flower pot, they join and connect together, creating something that looks like a bathtub. Uh, I mean if you could if you made this out of white uh, flower pots, it would look like a bathtub, wouldn't it? Let's just try that out now. Uh, for some reason, middle click doesn't work on these things. Let me get myself a white large flower pot. Uh, does this look anything remotely like a bath? Kind of. That'd be quite cool. Oh, no. The base of it isn't white. Oh, that's going to really annoy me now. Why is that the case? Gah. Anyway, so you can link them together, and then if you fill them both with dirt, uh, they connect up. And then you can just place down flowers in here, perfectly fine, or saplings or whatever. And they just look like one continuous flower pot. So yeah, that's the modular function of these flower pots. We're just going to go and destroy those though, uh, because they're getting in the way. So next up, I'm going to be showing you the fence posts that this mod adds into the game. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, I thought this was the modular flower pots mod. And for some reason, it adds fences into the game as well. It's a pretty cool feature though, and very good if, if, you, if you have some like aesthetic use for these things. So there's two different kinds of fence posts. We've got a normal wood post, and then we've got some wood post fence blocks. And the difference is when you place the wood post fences, next to each other they'll link up with a bit of rope between them and they're actually crafted with string so that makes sense and when you place down a normal post when you place two next to each other they're not linked up as you can see there and if I place down three of these fences next to each other they are linked up so that's pretty much the basic difference between these things and I may as well show you how to craft these now so to craft one of these wood posts you're gonna need to combine two logs on top of each other and then you'll get a wood post or you can combine a log with any kind of axe and it'll take some of the durability of the axe and then yield you some oak wood posts. So that's pretty epic. And then to craft the fence variety, you need to combine two of those wood posts you've just crafted along with two string in this shaped crafting recipe and then you'll get two of those wood post fences. And again, you can craft these out of any variety of wood at all. So you can see here I've got an oak wood post and I've got a birch wood post and a spruce wood post and it even works with the wood types in biomes of plenty. So you can see here for some reason we've got a giant flower stem post. I didn't think that was classed as wood but obviously it is. It looks like a miniature cactus which is really thin and really tall which is probably more realistic uh, of what a cactus looks like. Cactus uh, cacti I should say aren't generally really fat and then really small unless you get those like ball cacti <laughs> but yeah that's a pretty epic looking cactus replacement I'd say uh, so yeah it does work with other mods and what I've done over here is just to demonstrate how these things work um, I've built a little man out of these posts uh, because when you place them down 
and place one horizontally on the side of it. Uh, they join up and you can see there's like a corner post here which looks pretty epic and you can make you can use this feature to make some epic looking structures or in this case a man that has no body <laughs> I wasn't really sure how to make this guy so I uh, this was originally intended to be his body and then I'd like make a neck and a head up here uh, but everything I did looked really dumb with his arms being so low down <laughs> so I just made this man have a huge mouth no body and then two eyes at the top he looks like he's in shock poor dude <laughs> look at those like cup uh, handle arms gah Looks a bit ridiculous. And over here was just a demonstration of making it out of some custom wood type from some other mod. So this is palm wood, I believe. These are palm wood posts. So that's it for the posts, really. They're pretty cool if you want to decorate uh, around your house or make some cool little structures. But now let's move back to the features that correlate with the mod name. So you can see in front of me here, I have an arrangement of these flower pots arranged out here with different materials inside of them and these are all the things that you can place inside flower pots so we've got sand, we've got grass, we've got soul sand and gravel we've got podzil or podzol, don't know what it's called precisely and then we've got dirt and then we've got some tilled farmland or whatever it's called and we've also got some water here and you can place different plants on different like base materials so we've got sand here so I can place a cactus on that and we've got a tulip which we can place on the grass and then on the soul sand we can place down some nether wart and on the gravel we can place down a mushroom and then on the podzil we can place down a large fern look at that thing Ooh, it's quite big and you can also place saplings on dirt and stuff as well as flowers and then you can even plant uh, wheat on these uh, farmland blocks which is pretty cool so you can have wheat growing inside of flower pots and the cool thing about this is they're trample proof so I can jump up and down all day on this thing and it's not going to pop the seeds off at all which is a pretty epic safety feature to have so I recommend you now start using flower pots in your farms to protect your um, seeds from being trampled and then finally we've got the water which you can place lily pads on like that look at that thing so those are all the things that are supported by plant pots currently. So next up we've got a nifty feature which I almost forgot to show and that is if you place down a sapling inside of one of these plant pots and then right click with bone meal you get a miniature version of the saplings tree. So you can see here we've got a miniature spruce tree which looks pretty epic. Look at that. It's so cute and look at its like trunk made out of those fence blocks. It's pretty cool. Well fence post blocks I should say. So yeah that's what you can do and I'll just give you another demonstration with a birch sapling over here. I can just like grow it and it becomes a miniature birch tree. So that's a pretty cool feature if you want some kind of oriental garden with miniature trees and stuff it's pretty epic so yeah uh, but now I'll go on to the final feature of this mod which means you can actually add designs to the flower pots so in order to actually carve a design into a flower pot you're gonna have to get yourself a raw large flower pot which is just crafted using basic clay blocks like so and then next up you're gonna have to craft something called a pottery table which is just a crafting table combined with uh, a clay ball like so you place it down and then you open it and you get this whole new GUI that pops up and then all you have to do is put in a raw large flower pot and then a stamp and you can get these stamps from dungeon chests and stuff like that so that's how you can obtain these you can't craft them and what which design am I gonna do uh, which sounds cool oh creepy castle that sounds awesome <laughs> as you can see there you get a little preview of what the design looks like and then you can just click it and then get the design like so and let's just do this with another one we've got a nice pink stamp here with savannah on it uh, and I'm gonna need to get myself another clay pot I believe yeah there we go so I just place one of these in and it adds a design to my flower pot so now we've got two different designs on our flower pots and then the next stage is you go over to a furnace whack it in the furnace along with some coal and then it will cook it into a hardened clay version of this large flower pot and the design will be added to it and that makes pretty much a lot of sense since it's going to harden the clay and make it less susceptible to the elements. So yeah, and now we've got a nice, let's just put the other one in. Now we've got a nice design on this flower pot like so. But I'm not going to place it down yet because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dye this thing to make it a different colour in this pottery table. You can see I've added some lapis along with this flower pot in the pottery table. And now I've got a blue large flower pot with a design on it. So I can just place it down and it looks pretty epic with that lovely design and pattern on the side of it. Let's just do the same with this savannah one. So let's just open this up and what dye shall I use for this one? Uh, let's try and find a nice dye. Orange seems good. So we're going to add the dye along with the flower pot in here. And now we've got a nice orange one. Don't know why I dyed it to orange since the uh, basic flower pot is pretty orange anyway. But yeah, so now we've got some new flower pots. So yeah guys, that pretty much sums up everything in the modular flower pots mod. So if you've enjoyed this mod showcase, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll be seeing you next time.